In this video, I'll show you how to create a game pass that lets you skip to the end of the obby. This was suggested by the user you see on the screen now. To get started, let's head to create.roblox.com. Similar to what we did with our developer products, uh, we want to find a game, find our game in the creations tab and click on it. Go to monetization, and this time we're going to click on passes. I'm going to hit create a pass, and you can go through all the options here. Now, once you've created your game pass, you want to click on it. Go to sales and you want to put item for sale. Put in a price, I will just make it 50 Robux and you want to hit save changes. I'm not going to be selling the uh, game pass but to test it I believe we do need to have it for sale. So while you're testing just make it some Robux, click save um, and then you can uncheck this later on. Next what we'll do is hit the three dots and hit copy asset ID. I'm going to paste the ID into a text file for now so I don't have to go back to the website if I lose it. Also, we need to make sure we go to the game settings, security, and allow third party sales. This will enable players to purchase items um, and develop products, etc. Now let's create the UI. So under starter GUI and screen GUI, I'm going to copy our skip stage button. I'm going to put this one underneath, maybe just here. And I'll make this, I'll rename it. I'm going to call it um, skip stage. Uh, not skip stage, so skip obby. And I'll make the text say skip obby. And in here, in the local script that's inside, I'm going to keep the marketplace service and the player. I'm going to re uh, paste my new product ID. Uh, and we don't need a debounce for the game bars. Uh, in the mouse button one click, we can remove all debounce stuff. Uh, in fact, I'll write the whole method again. So in here, all we need to say is marketplace service, colon, prompt product, uh, prompt game pass purchase, passing in the player, and the product ID. And we don't need this prompt product purchase finished thing either. And that's it for this script. Let's close that. Now under server script service, let's add a script. And I'm going to rename it to uh, Game Pass Handler. This is where we'll deal with the server side processes. In here, I'm going to write players equals game colon get service players, get the player service. We also want the marketplace service, so marketplace service equals game colon get service marketplace service. We also want to store our checkpoints folder, so I'll say checkpoints folder equals workspace, colon, wait for child, checkpoints. And we want our ID, so say skip game pass ID equals, and that's our ID. Make sure you use your ID and not mine. Next, we'll say marketplace service dot prompt product, uh, prompt, sorry, not product, prompt game pass purchase finished. Colon connect function passing in the player, the pass ID and purchased. This function is called after a game pass purchase prompt has been interacted with. It automatically passes in the player, the game pass ID and a boolean which tells us if it was purchased or cancelled. So we'll say if purchased and pass ID equals skip game pass ID then so if it was purchased and the game pass ID that was purchased matches our game pass ID. So we know they're buying the right game pass. Um, we'll say player.leaderstats.stage.value equals the number of, so remember hashtag means the number of checkpoints folder colon get children. So the number of children within the checkpoints folder. And this will set the player's stage to the maximum stage in the game. We can say underscore g dot player loaded passing in the player and this will reload the player onto the new checkpoint because if you remember we made that global function player loaded which will load the player to their checkpoint that's their stage now finally in the leader stats script uh, we just need to make some adjustments so we'll add the marketplace service at the top so marketplace service equals game code on get service marketplace service we'll also get the checkpoints folder equals workspace colon wait for child checkpoints we'll also get our game pass skip game pass id equals and then our game pass id and now underneath this character added function i'm going to add if marketplace service colon user owns game pass to sync player dot user id skip game pass id then 
So after the player joins the game, we want to check if they own the game pass, because if we added any new levels while they were away, we need to make sure they still go to the end of the obby and not the previous level that they bought the game pass at. So we just say player dot. It's basically the exact same as the, this bit here, this game pass handle, so we can copy that. Player dot leads stats dot stage dot value because the number of checkpoint folder. Um, why is it not working? Oh, I put checkpoints there, so I just remove that checkpoint folder. Come on, get children, and then reload their player. Exact same. We did this in the leader stats script because we want to make sure we run this code after everything else has loaded. It's not good to uh, load the player onto the highest stage before they've loaded onto their save onto their saved stage because otherwise they'll just spawn back. So they'll load onto the final stage and then when all their data loads in, they'll just go back to the stage they were on. So we need to do this thing last. We will need to run two tests. First, we need to reset the data store to a new name so you start on stage one. So let's go to data store. I've been playing around a little bit, obviously, testing code to make this work anyway. So I'm now in data store four, but I'll make this data store five. You might make it one or two. Just a new save that you've not been on yet, just to make sure that your data is back to stage one. Now let's press play and see what happens. Because we created the game pass, we already own it. This means we're teleported to the last level, so that works. If you created the game pass under a group, you'll not own it. Uh, and you will have to test it with a game pass id that you own so if you've never bought an, a game pass before if you don't have any game passes that you own to test this uh, you will need to create an, a game pass under your user rather than a group and use that id i'll show you how to swap the ids out in a minute but basically you just want to change all the id variables to a new id that you own for our second test we need to change the free id variables we have stored to a new id that exists for another game pass that we don't own this doesn't have to be in our game it could be any game let's just find a random roblox game with game passes and copy one of those ids here i found a game called tycoon rng i'm going to pick this vip and copy the id the id will be this string of characters in the url bar now let's replace our saved IDs with this one. I'm just going to make a note of what my one is again, just because I don't still have it in that text file. Um, I think that's it. Where else did we have it? We also had it in the... Don't forget to change it in this local script here. There we go. Now if we hit play and purchase it, it'll say, would you like to buy it? It'll say VIP because that's the game pass that I'm using. Um, this is a test purchase, by the way. You will not be charged actual Robux. It says 700, but it won't take 700 out of my account. There we go. Let's click it and see what happens. So, oh, before I can test this, I did forget to mention I will obviously need a new data store because I'm on the max level on that one. So let's go back to stage one. And now let's buy the game pass. So we buy it and it teleports us to the final stage. Perfect. It is important to note that testing a game pass in Roblox Studio works similarly to testing a developer product. It acts as a one-time purchase in Studio, meaning the user owns game pass a sync will always return true while testing in Roblox Studio. You won't actually have the game pass. That is why we need to test it with passes we don't own as well. So now let's just change it back because we know that works fine. So I've got my ID there. There we go. So that's everything. Perfect. So it all works. Um, there's not much more to say, so that's it for this video, everyone, uh, and the series, in fact. If I get any more suggestions, I will consider doing a video on them, um, so please do leave me suggestions. But as for now, that's it, so thanks for watching, everyone, and goodbye. I hope you found the series helpful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe, because um, it really appreciate we it really helps us out, and we really appreciate it, uh, and goodbye.